look at this incredible talent up here. Oh my God. Truly an honor to be here and celebrate your incredible work. Okay, let's have some fun. Um, you know, we, we had a couple of days of rain in LA for those of you who were here and, you know, we were stuck indoors. I want to know what your favorite rainy day movie is. And I'm going to go down the line. Holly, I'm going to start with you and work down. Sorry, what favorite What's your rainy favorite day rainy movie? day movie? So when you're trapped <laughs> indoors, what do you watch on TV? Um, oh, movie. Just trying to think. Uh, I did have one of those. I had a rainy day moment about a week ago when my family were all sick with flu and we watched um, The Sound of Music, mm. which, which is a classic, isn't it? Yeah, I loved it. Love it. <laughs> Michael? Uh, sure. My rainy day movie would be Amadeus. Uh, yeah, I've seen it so many times. But yeah, I just love, yeah, watching that one's great. Rodrigo? I, I think mine would be All That Jazz. Yes. <laughs> Jen, what's your rainy day movie? Oh, wow. I grew up in like the era of like cable and live television, so I'll just like see what's on and catch me in the middle of it. And <laughs> it's like a weird romantic comedy that I loved growing up, or like, I don't know, like she's all that, like anything. <laughs> or if it's with my kid, it's probably like the original Wonka again and again, Charlie and Chocolate. <laughs> Kazu, what about you? What do you watch on a rainy day? <laughs> I'm trying to. Think about it. Uh, I, you know, I'm a, there was two actually. Yeah, I love that movie. Mm. Yeah, such a, a perfection, you know, like as a movie. Mm. Yeah. Katie, what's your ring? Oh, I'm going to go for. Um, I'm going to go for Doctor Shivago. I'm going to go for that. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go for something that wasn't rainy day because we were on the aeroplane. But I watched um, <laughs> Richard Jones's Diary for the first time since it was out. And you, you know what it's like when you're sitting there, you've got your headphones on, and you're laughing like a drain, and everybody around you is just looking at you like you're really <laughs> mad. So that was very funny. Does that still hold up after all this time? It really does. I mean, it's so non-PC. I mean, it's just like, but great fun. Yeah. Ludwig. Yeah, I would say uh, we have a four-year-old and a two-year-old at home, so we spent a lot of time debating on what's going to be the first movie we introduced to them. And it was Totoro, My Neighbor yeah. Totoro. And Love the music. The music is incredible too. The score, you can just listen to it in your car and just like imagine, remember every scene of the film. I love that film. Amazing. Any yes? Uh, depends on how long it's raining. Maybe Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> and then maybe like the whole trilogy if it's really raining hard. Yeah. Like it did the other day. Billy, what about you? Um, like Spirited Away as well. I thought, but also like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. yeah that's a good one. Does that hold up? Oh, yeah, big time. Love it. it does. Steph, what's your. Well, uh, it would be a French movie. Um, it would be, uh, it's actually two movies Jean de Florette and Manon des Sources. I don't know if anybody knows about these movies, but they, they happen in the south of France and it's sunny, so it's a good thing to watch on a, on a, on a rainy day. Um, okay, so as I said, you know, you've all got incredible bodies of work. Um, if what is, so Steph, I'm gonna start with you. Of all the films you've done, if somebody is to get to know your work, what is the film you would tell them to go and watch except for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? <laughs> you're, not, you're not allowed to say your present film. It, it's really hard to choose between the kids. <laughs> um, I would say Doctor Strange, yeah. um, for sure. Uh, but there's also another film which actually is related. I, I love the, the prestige that I worked on, yeah. and um, it's such a special movie for me. So I would say the two, and they're very different, yeah. so that, that's a good thing. But start with Doctor Strange and go into the prestige after. Love that. Billy, what about for you? For somebody to get to know you, like what album or song should they listen to? Uh... I find it very frustrating that I can't control what people listen to. <laughs> like, I, sometimes I'll get a text from like a new friend and it'll be like, oh, I was listening to, you know, and they'll name some song and I'm like, no. This is your chance no, now. not that one. I love them all, but they'd be aging for sure. <laughs> um, I'd say, aside from what was I made for, um, I have a song called Male Fantasy that I really love. Um, yeah, I think that's a good one. And 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, man. <laughs> Phineas, moving on. Um, we wrote a song a couple years ago just called TV that, like, that one yeah. is a... I think it's, you know, we're very proud of everything we make, but in terms of stuff that... I switched to that one. ...to mean to you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry. Ludwig, your scores. Uh, I would probably say a good way to learn um, to who I am or who I was was probably... I would go with the TV show called Community. Yeah. It's like... Uh, oh, my goodness. We talked about that. I mean, you guys... It's so... It has, it was six se seasons, and it was just so much, and a movie, right. And the fans know. And we just kind of went through, every episode was, was different, and, I, and I, I, that was my first job, so I just learned so much of scoring, and I got to really flex my, my muscles and learn how to score different genres of, 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 of films, so, you know. There you go. See, this is all homework for you. You're all gonna go and watch, like, these, the, the things they're recommending. Sarah. Well. I suppose, I mean, it's interesting because it's kind of, we, we talk about it as being like the cousin of Barbie, which is Anna Karenina, because it was this complete world that we created. And, you know, they lived in a theatre. I mean, it was just like, wow. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, that's the one to see. Katie? Um, I'm going to go for a slightly earlier one. I'm going to go for Atonement, because um, it's like three films in one. So you get, yep. Kazoo? Yes. Uh, Darkest Hour and the Bombshell, yeah. Jen. I'm gonna go with Frances Ha, just because <laughs> it was my first um, editing job and also it was very personal to me and I felt very connected to what the character was going through. And... Rodrigo? Okay, I'll think two. Uh, first, maybe Brokeback Mountain, Yeah. time ago. <laughs> that, was, that was special, it was also, you know, the movie obviously, but also for me, being from Mexico, it was, my mother was from Montana, from a sheep ranch, so it was, and my uncle, her brother, was gay, he was a ballet dancer, so for me it was a kind of going to that side of my family and trying to understand that. And uh, the other one would be the movie Beautiful by uh, Iñárritu, that was, uh, I think, a whole, totally different look to it, but uh, uh, just visually, the cinematography, it was um, something that I felt, okay, the, Okay, this, it worked. What I was going for visually came out in the movie, I think. Yeah. Michael? Uh, well, you got a lot of homework, but uh, it'll be uh, Fellowship of the Ring, The Social Network, Coco, and There Will Be Blood. <laughs> so you got four. That's a lot of homework here. I can't Holly. pick a one, but those would be the ones I would say would be, uh, yeah, show some of my best work. Holly, what about for you? Well, I, I was going to say Lady Macbeth because this is, I, it's, it's a film that I've done that I, I'm very proud of. It was done with very, very little and, um, you know, in a very, you know, in contrast to poor things, it was, it was really austere and pared back. And, but that isn't so me, I don't guess. So can I say a ballet? Because I've done a lot of theatre. I did a ballet with the Quay brothers, who, who I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of. And... Um, I had the opportunity to work in their studio with them and we took lots of photographs of my fabrics in their weird sort of pockmarked mirrors and printed them all over the clothes and did, we, we did some really interesting stuff and I was very proud of it. So I'd say, I'd say um, that, that project, which was, <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, it was some sort of 17th century thing that I'd forgotten about, <laughs> but it was with, um, with, with Ron Bear and the, and the Quay brothers. There you go. I love that. I want to congratulate you all for being 2024's Variety's Artisan Awards honorees. And let's bring out the Waskos for the award presentation and trophy presentation. Thank you again, everybody, for being here. The awards will be coming out. <laughs> Did you all have fun today sharing your process? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna come back? Who, who's, who's coming back? Kazu, this is your second time. You all wanna come back, right? Yeah.